What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Hearth which you can pick up for free on itch.io, a game where we need to keep the fire stoked no matter what. And so there it is, the fire is burning. We're in like our little cloak. Oh, we're a bit of a thick boy right there. Okay, that's all right. We like our food. It's all good. I love food. I think food is great. So the fire is not low, I don't think. I think the fire is good. We can go outside right now. And let's have a look around and see if we can find anything around here. We got logs on this side. Your carried items are shown here. Okay. Makes sense to me. Yeah, pick up as many logs as you can. Oh, that fire goes out quick. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to work on that. Can I do anything with the grasses? Oh, I can. There's also twigs. Okay, are these grasses or are these twigs? I can't tell the difference. Does it matter if I sprint everywhere? Or does that not really matter? Oof. It's kind of chilly out here. You can tell from the color palette this is going to be a very, very cold game. We got twigs and a bunch of other stuff. Ow! What the hell is that thing? Oh my god! Something's trying to kill me. Yeah, let's go back home. Let's. I don't want to be outside anymore. I find this place to be terrifying and unwelcome. I don't. I don't want to be here. So we can make an axe. We can make a kebab. We need logs for 20 seconds over here. Go ahead and throw those in. Now that your fire is alive, bring fuel here to create items. Okay. Like what? It, oh, we got crafting recipes down there. Ooh, I like crafting recipes. We can do a torch. We can do an axe. And we can do, so I need a rock, which we can find in the woods. We need a capacity buff right there. If we have spider legs, we have a rock corpse, and we have burr spikes. Okay. I wasn't really in the market to fight with any enemies or anything like that, but I guess we'll do what we got to do. I think the fire is good to go. I don't think the fire needs any more help. I think the fire's all right. Let's go back outside and hopefully that douche. I'm gonna go this way to the. I'm gonna go to the right. That way seemed kind of scary, and that was a big spider monster. And I'm pretty sure he wanted to hurt me like really badly. I could see it in his beady little eyes. So we got a bunch of grass from right there. That's a rot corpse. Ugh. We got burr spikes on that side. What is this over here? Is that anything important? We get some more grass from that side. That sounds all right to me. Yeah, go grab all the grass you can. Do I have, like, a storage space that I can utilize, maybe? We got a rock right there. That sounds good. I need a few more twigs. We can find another twig or two. I don't think that one's working. There we go. Let me get those twigs. What is this? Is that anything important? We got another twig on that side. I'll take that and another rock. Let's go back home real fast. I think we should be all right for right now. I got plenty of things picked up. And so we'll start messing with the fire in just a minute. I assume that that's my cold resistance, maybe? I don't know if that's the fire or if that's the cold resistance. So if I put the grass in there... We needed a twig and a rock to make an axe. Let's go ahead and we'll make the axe right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get ourselves equipped up. So we're in the process of crafting right now. Unfortunately, it put all my items inside there. Can I sleep or anything like that? I can? Oh, cool. That'd be nice. The fire is low. Well, then let's go grab another log or two. It says that I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory right now, but I don't see it. I'm just going to throw another log inside of here. Put another log on the fire. I'm cooking up some bacon and some beans. Well, I've got three axes. Right click to equip them. Oh, okay. Is there like a storage space I can use around here? Like, is that any kind of thing that I can do? I think I just wasted a bunch of materials is what I think I just did. The fire is strong. Doesn't look like there's any boxes or anything like that that I can store my stuff inside of. So I guess we'll just run around with an axe. So I can chop down trees now, which is probably helpful. Dude, it's kind of dark out here. It's a little dark and terrifying outside at the moment. I don't know how I feel. Bad things could happen in this current situation. I can't see so good. Oh, there's an old pier right here. I can harvest it for logs. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yup, that sounds good. We'll take this back to the fire in order to keep it squared away. Take it back to the fire. I like the theme and the, kind of the atmosphere that the game has going on though right now. Like the fire is burning right there not capable. Oh, I can just drop the logs right here. No, don't put those in the fire. What are you doing right now? Yeah, drop those over and off to the side. Are they going to stay there? Does it remember? Do you see? Oh, it does. Okay, so let me drop this other axe then right here. We'll put an axe on that side and we'll worry about it a little bit later. I can fight now, which is probably a good thing. That means I've got some kind of like defensible thing going on. We've got rocks over on this side. We've got, what is that? A spider leg? I'll take it. I guess that's refuse left over from one of those bad guys, possibly. I don't know. This might get us into trouble. How do I chop a tree? Are these trees choppable? Like, I got my axe right here. 
Oh, you can right click to swing. Okay, that's good. Hey, we knocked out a tree though. I'll take that. We've got twigs over on this side. Yeah, I'll take some twigs. That made a lot of noise. This concerns me a little bit. I'm going to take these back to base though. What is that? Is that a new tree grow? What is that right there? Why is it growing out of the ground like that? Why is it all green and smoky? I don't like it. We're going back. We're going back. I'm falling back to my safe space. I need my I need my safe space. All right, so we'll drop these right here because we don't need them for right now. Go back inside. And we've got logs over here. The fire is burning. We can create... So what can I craft on this side? So if I wanted to make a capacity buff, I need a spider leg. I need a rot corpse. And I need a burr spike. I think I can do that. I mean, I don't have the stuff on me right now. But what are those little lights right there? Are those anything that I should be concerned about? Yeah, drop the twigs right there. I think those are just like in the foreground. I don't think those are going to mess with us. I don't think those are going to be a problem. We got logs over here. We got some twigs. Is that a burr? Like, what is that? Oh, no. I don't feel good about what's happening right now. I don't know what that thing is, but it looks like a big, nasty, jerky face. Apparently, my axe has decided that... There it is. My axe has decided not to work. Apparently, the game's got, like, some bugs and things that need to be worked through. Yeah! Back up off me, spider! Back up off me! Is he dead? We kill his ass? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bat that fool back. You don't know what's like that. Let's go back inside. I think we get our health back when we sit next to the fire. Yup, that's exactly what happens. Let's grab some logs. I'm gonna grab, like, one right here. We'll throw those in there. I don't know what our fire capacity is right now, but I think it's a good idea to keep it burning. Alright, let's go back out here. He's dead. Can I do anything with his body? I can't take anything off of him, so he doesn't have any loot for us. Let's continue off to the left. We got a... Like a burr or something over here. Looks like every now and again I gotta re-equip my... That looks like there's a burr spike right there. Doesn't look like I can hit him. Twigs over on this side. What are you? Those look like they might be one of the things that we need. Oh, cool. There's the burst spikes. We got them. So I guess you just got to whack these things enough times till they die. It looks like maybe they deal damage to us or something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to question it too much. We got burst spikes. I need spider legs, though. I need spider legs real, real bad. Is this dead guy still? Oh, there's more over here. Yeah, let me get those burst spikes. Let me have them. Let's get after it. I'm not trying to get lost out in the darkness right now. I think a torch might be an intelligent thing to make next to. What happens if I sleep? Anything good? Like, I'm sure that's probably going to negatively affect my fire. Fire's still burning, though, so hey. No complaints from me. No, don't burn them. Just drop them. Yeah, put those on the ground right there. Yep, keep those right there. We got a spider leg right there. I'm trying to keep my inventory nice and cleaned out so I don't have to worry about things getting in the way. It looks like the spider has left us. I'm going to re-equip my axe real fast because it seems like every time I leave the building, i got to re-equip the axe. I don't know what that stuff is right there. I assume that's maybe a tree regrowing or something. I don't know. Oh, no, that's a spider. Yeah, go ahead and bat him around. See if maybe there's an issue we can solve here. How many more times i got to hit his ass? Can I rotate the camera at all? I don't think he dropped anything. We got a bunch of burst spikes, but no, I don't know if that's a spider in all honesty. Ow! Cease with your shenanigans, sir. Oh, we got a spider leg off that one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're moving on up, although I took enough damage right there to where I think I got to fall back. It seems plausible that I may not be able to stay out. No, don't die of the cold. Run, run, run for all you're worth. Run through the fog. I believe in you. You can do this. Get back to the fire. Also, pick up those logs. They might be the only thing that save us right here if the fire's going out. Yeah, the fire's looking a little... Fire's looking a little weak right now. It's looking like it's not making it. So we've got capacity buffs right there. Fuel will burn for 20 seconds. Food, eat to get plus 10 strength. We also have a kebab over on this side that gives us plus 30 to energy. So spider leg, we need a rot corpse, and we need burr spikes. I don't know what a rot corpse looks like, but there was one, like, down here to the right, I think. Maybe. 
Those are burst bikes. Oh, there's our rot corpse. Okay. All right, grab a little bit of grass. Sure, why not? Splatty loves the grass. Grass is great. Grass makes me happy. But now, more importantly, we have the stuff that we need. Go ahead and drop that out here. We'll worry about that in a minute. I need the rot corpse. Let's have a look. We got our spider leg. We got our burrs right there. And so let's say that we put that in there. We put that in there. And we put just one of those in there. What are you going to craft for me? The fire is low again? All right, I can fix that. I can fix that. It's okay. I got grasses, and I got twiggies, and I think we'll be okay. But the grasses and the twiggies, we'll go ahead and set that into burn. Yep, the fire's not strong yet, but I'm hoping it'll get strong soon. I can probably just run down here. That's what I'm talking about. The crafting's finished. Okay, let's go back. I'll feed some more. What do the sticks burn for? They burn for 10 seconds, so like half of a log. All right, that's okay. Perfect. We've got ourselves a capacity buff. Do I burn it, or what do I do with it? So it burns for 20 seconds. I can eat it. Oh, it increased my inventory space. Nice. Okay, I can carry more stuff now. Sounds good. It did exactly what it said on the tin. No complaints, no confusion. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. Let's get all these logs from down here on the pier. And I like how the game has, like, a sense of desperation. Like, it feels like things are going wrong when I play this game. Like, it always feels like you got something to work on no matter how you go through it. Like, I do feel like I'm pressured right now and I've got lots of things happening. It may not be very content thick, but for right now, it's actually got me a little bit hooked. I like it. We'll burn those and now the fire is strong again. We will drop our logs over here by the side. Nope, don't pick up the logs. Please stop doing what you're doing. There we go. So we'll put the logs over here. So now we got a fire supply waiting for us. I got spider legs on me right now, but I don't know if I'm going to need them right this second. We got a few more logs over on this side. I'll probably ignore that for just a second. What do these little lanterns do? Maybe I can light them with the torch. It might be a good idea to get some twigs and everything and see if maybe I can light that up. I'm thinking that's probably what they want me to do. Let's grab some grasses here. We got six of those. And... Got some more rot on this side. There's no guarantee that there's not one of those monsters around here, though. And they do take a considerable chunk off of your health. What else did I need? Just grass, grass, twig? Okay. Grass, grass, twig is fine. I thought it was going to be like grass, grass, something else terrifying that you can only get from a monster that wants to kill you really badly. And in that situation, I'm like, ner er, Mike. ner er. So let's go with the twig. And then we'll put a grass in there. And then we'll put a grass in there. And we'll see what we get out. Fire's burning, but not very well. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we got a torch. So let's take that out. It looks like it burns off pretty quick. But does it help out? Oh, and it goes on my back right there? That's pretty cool. That's super sweet. I like that a lot. That actually makes me really, really happy. Give us some extra light radius right there. I honestly have no idea what this is. Like, it doesn't appear as though it can be killed. It doesn't look like it's a major issue, though. So I guess I'll leave it alone. I don't know if the rot spreads as we get further into the game. I wonder if we get upgrades or anything like that that make us able to stay out, like, in the coldness a little bit longer. Or if this is pretty much it for right now. Uh, this is a little risky. I'll be honest. This is not the happiest position I've ever been in. You gonna drop some spider legs? What's hitting me? What's hitting me? It's tentacles? I think it's tentacles were hitting me. I think that's what happened right there. Like, I think it was dead, but it was still counting as being alive. Oh, man, we got to go all over again. All right, we'll burn that right there. We got plenty of stuff out here. It's not that big of a deal. So we've got stay close to the hearth to gain energy. Oh, yeah, it wants me to heal up. My badsies, let's get back inside. Ha, 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 make me strong. Give me fire. Make that pyre burn. I know the fire is low. I would love for the fire to not be low, but I'm trying to unlock crafting right now, and they're not making it easy on me. They're making me struggle for it. They're making me eat a struggle muffin right now. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we got our health back up. We got a bunch of logs in the side right here, so let's go ahead and grab those. And we'll feed the fire as much as it needs to be fed in order to keep ourselves alive. There we go. When your fire is alive, bring fuel here to create items. Yes. Perfect. We'll drop those right there for later. And as I recall, we needed to get ourselves some rocks and some grass and some other stuff. So let's grab some grasses. 
Can I get that rock right there? Or does that rock not count? That rock is apparently not participating in this whole rock thing. It's just looking at me blankly when I'm trying to pick it up. It's like, eh. You know, like, I'm not down with the whole rock criterion. I, I feel like I can offer a lot more to the world than just being a simple rock. I don't think I need all of these. I think I just need some of these. Yeah, there we go. That'll make the stuff that we need. And then we'll burn the rest of the twigs just to get the fire moving. Burn the rest of that to get it going too. And now we got our axe back. The other thing is... I'm going to just drop the rocks outside. I don't think they're that helpful right now. I would love to see this game expand out a little bit though. And you can start building like a retaining wall. And you can start like rebuilding and essentially making things. And then people move in and stuff like that. That'd be pretty dope. I think I'd be down for it. We got a rock corpse right there and a whole bunch of grasses. And then we've got a spider leg as well. But we don't have the burrs that we need in order to make this whole thing function. So, I'm just going to burn the grass for right now. And if the fire gets stronger, so be it. That sounds rad. But the other thing we need right now is a burr corpse. If we can get a burr corpse, that will allow us to expand our capacity out back to where we were. I don't see any burrs right now. They're those little small spiky ball things. Spiky balls, you over here? There you are. I see you. I seen you. Yup, die. I bequeath unto you violence. And so there it is. We got the stuff that we need in order to increase our capacity so that we can have four inventory slots. Let me run on back and we'll make this thing happen. Make this thing go. But yeah, for a free little alpha, I'm intrigued by the idea. I'm hoping it's still being worked on. This is one of those games where you can see the promise there. And as a survival fan, it's very, very difficult for me to think that like there's not going to be any updates or it's not going to be made into like a full game or anything like that. It's just when I see a game like this, it makes me, it makes me want it. Apparently, I can't pick up the logs that are right there. So while that's crafting, we'll go back out. We'll grab these ones from down by the pier. Down by the boardwalk, down by the sea, ooh yeah. On a blanket with my baby is where I will be. I'm not a dad, so I can never accomplish what that song sets out to accomplish. It's a little depressing. It's a little depressing and it's a little upsetting. Maybe someday, though. I'm going to go ahead and burn that right there. And then we'll put these guys back outside so that we have room for them. We got more burr spikes on this side. Oh, I could have done my capacity just grabbing that. It wasn't even that big of a concern. All right, well, let me, get my, let me get my crafting item right there real fast. And as it gets colder out here, I'm just going to make a mental note that we already have a burst spike over there. If I could find a free spider leg or something around, though, I wouldn't be against it. That's perfect. Free spider leg. Now we just need another rock corpse. So maybe we find one. Can I go out on the water? I can't. It's a little dark right now. That's probably the function of the torch. That would probably help out a whole bunch with this situation. But Splatty doesn't think about stuff like that because he's a nub. He doesn't think about things like that. He just kind of carries on forward. We take the consequences that we get. And like, eh, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Perfect. Get that health on back up. Nice. Okay, so if we can find a free rock corpse around here somewhere, Splatty be pretty stoked. But this blizzard is really kind of eliminating our operand time outside. It's making it very challenging. Oof. I think I've been struck. Yep, I don't think that's wrong. I think that being struck is exactly what happened right there. I'm going to bat this dude away. Stay away from me. Go away. Go away, horrid creature. See, the problem is I can only swing in the direction that I'm facing, and so that makes things very, very challenging. He dropped another spider leg, and since those are semi-rare, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up, and we'll save it for later. He's right outside my house, but until I find a rock corpse, that's not going to be that helpful to me. I'm trying to increase my inventory space right now. With the kebabs, what do the kebabs do? They give me strength, and so I need a twig, I need a spider leg, and I need burst spikes. I do have that, actually. Hmm. Might be worth thinking. Like, because that gives me plus 30 to energy. And so I can carry that with me, and I think that's my energy meter right there. I don't know if there's any further things that I can explore right now as far as that goes, but I think that's an easy enough crafting recipe to where it'd be nice to have that so I can heal myself if need be. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Then we'll get back outside and we'll do some more adventures. It's adventure time. Doesn't seem as cold today, so I may be able to push out a little bit further. The torch might also help with that, but I haven't verified it yet. Got some more grasses on that side. Okay, sounds good. Got some more grasses right there, too. I don't know what the furthest out that I can push is, but that seems to be about the limit right there. That seems to be about as far as I can go. And I don't have any sticks left, so... 
What are these over here? Are those sticks? What are those? Those are nothingness? Oh, shit. Back to base! Come on! Bro, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe. I'm gonna burn that to get the heat up a little bit more so that we heal a little bit faster. Like, I can't say that that's gonna help out, but... Eh, it's grass. There'll probably be more of it. That'll buy me enough time to go grab this stack of logs. And then we'll throw this in here. Perfect. Alright, so our health is coming back. We also have a healing item now, which helps out a bunch. I need two grasses and a stick if I want to make the torch. So let's grab a stick and let's find some grass around here somewhere. Normally I'm pretty good at this whole finding grass thing, but sometimes I slip up. There we go. There's our two grasses. I'm going to put the torch on my back. It looks like our coldness goes down pretty quickly. I assume that that just refills that. Okay, so that's good to know. I assume that having like a big stack of kebabs is how we're going to push out further and do better. Well, don't drop it. I need that. I require that. Yeah, that's that's going to be helpful. So dropping that on the floor is not really going to help. So there we go. We'll craft up a torch real quick. That's only going to take a second, I think. I don't know what's on the floor right there, but it's getting in the way. We now have a torch on our backpack, which is good. It's not lit yet, but it will be. You just got to give it time. You just got to give it time. Who can say where the grass burns, where the adventure turns, only torches. Got a few more logs over here. I'll probably take those just to stay alive a little bit longer. These are twigs, I assume. All right, we'll grab those too. Get a nice fat stack for later. Perfect. I am carrying too much. Makes sense. Makes sense, my dude. You do have a lot of stuff in that backpack right now. Did that drop that item? Where did that axe go? Hold on. Did I destroy it, maybe? I don't know. My axe done disappeared on me. But yeah, this game's called Hearth. It's a simple game. Simple in premise. Currently being worked on. The alpha, you know. I like the basic premise of the game. How you have to kind of stay around the fire and get yourself healed in a lot of ways. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Wild 8 game in a little bit. But kind of going in a different direction with that idea. You can check the game out. You can download it. You can play for free right now if you want to. Go check it out on itch.io. I'll have a link for you. My name is Splattercat. I check out indie games every single day on the internet so that you can sift through the pile and find what's worthwhile because there's a lot of it coming out right now. This one's a little early on in its development. There's not a whole lot to do, but I like the idea and I like the aesthetic of the game. And I'm hoping that it develops as time goes along and becomes something very, very beautiful. I'll see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in and hi do everybody.